A recent study on Akron University students conducted by the Department of Sociology have found that this six-week mindfulness meditation class effectively reduced symptoms of depression and generalized anxiety disorder among our students. This is a great six-week program talked by Dr. Jane Eckner, and she briefly explained to me what goes on during the classes. Um, it's an hour class. Um, I usually conduct a two-hour class, so we're in a really very condensed form. But what we're doing mostly is I'm providing information about a mindfulness skill training, which is really a mind training. And throughout the class, I also put a mix of the actual practices. So we're doing a lot of concentration on breathing and concentration on physical sensations and thinking. Mental health is very important to college students. It includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. She talks about how important should students consider this class. I mean, my own bias is that if you really want to have the life you want, you have to show up for it moment by moment. So this is really that training that gives us that present moment skill so we can make choices, really the choices from that best and highest part of ourselves that allow us to really put together the life that we want. Mental health is important at every stage of life from childhood through adult life. I was curious to know what motivated her to start these classes for the students at the University of Akron. Well, I was actually asked to uh, do this program as part of a research project at Akron University, but I found in my own professional life as a psychologist um, working in private practice for 37 years, and also in my personal life, that even with the best intentions, we sometimes don't follow through with what those good intentions are all about. We have great ideas about how we want to be successful, or how we want to be healthy, or how we want to have good relationships. But if we can't show up in the moment to do the right thing, we really don't get to have the life that we want and the success that we want and the relationships that we want. Results you can get just by attending will have you at a great mind state. She shares with me the results she hopes to get from the study. Well, the results from the particular study was really to look at um, esteem issues and mental health issues of students to see if this very simple, straightforward mindfulness technique could possibly improve how they felt about themselves, how they felt about their position as students, how they felt about the workload, things like that. Not only she wanted to get results, she also wanted students to take something from this mindfulness training. The best thing that any of us can take away from a mindfulness training is understanding that we're in charge and that our thoughts are merely mental events and that there is a deeper knowing within us that we can operate from much of the time that thinking is very valuable and certainly here I am on a university campus and we don't want to diminish what thinking and intellectual pursuits offer. But the other piece is knowing how to live more fully human, which is knowing that there is a mind-body connection, not just the mind. She has a great idea of how it helped college students cope with stress through these classes she provides. Well, one of the things that we're looking at is we're looking at the combination of, or the interaction, I should say, of thoughts, feelings, body sensations, and how they cultivate moods and how they also deepen moods. And think about it. You know, sometimes we can start with kind of a, a funky feeling or a negative kind of a thought process, and if we start to feed that, or if we're in a kind of a funky place anyway, it just deepens and worsens. So one of the things we want to do is we want to be able to turn toward that phenomena and see how we can stop investing all that energy into negative moods and negative thoughts and negative feelings. Dr. Eckert shared how mindfulness helped her personally so that she know how to go about things when it comes to mental health. I'm a person who is prone to overworking. I'm a person who's prone to stress and anxiety. And one of the things that it has allowed me to do is really to look at that and own that, that I'm creating much of it, and that there's another way that I can kind of see life. It's like putting on a different pair of glasses, that it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be all those things that I think about, or all those negative 
kinds of um, um, lenses that I see through, that it really is possible to kind of cut that short, that mind, that negative thinking is like a train that sometimes when we're in a low mood or when we're stressed, that negativity runs like a train 24 seven. And I have to know how to get off the train. And one of the things that this has taught me to do is get off the train and step back from the tracks. She shared how she was motivated to get into this field. One of the things that I found is that there was always a population who did not seem to get better no matter how hard we both tried in the process, in the therapeutic process. And so I was always looking for alternative ways and alternative skills and techniques to offer my clients that would allow them to have the lives that they really wanted. And so this began to be one of those pieces that, by golly, if you can show up in the present moment, there's a real solid chance that you're gonna make a different choice than you've made. You know, and there's that saying, if you keep doing what you've always done, you're gonna keep go doing, or having what you've always had, right? And they call that insanity. And doesn't it feel crazy, you know? So it's really knowing how do I get myself into those places? How do I get myself into that place where I'm doing the same old, same old? And part of that is that the mind tends to be connected with survival. And if I'm stressed or if I'm afraid, if I'm hungry, if I'm lonely, if I'm angry, I'm likely to do the same old, same old. So this is also about turning toward those parts of our lives and saying, maybe there's another way to do this. But I have to have the presence of mind in order to show up and even acknowledge what's happening to me. This is Tashayla David with ZTV's Lights, Camera, Akron.